Hey guys, good evening and welcome to my channel. So today we are going to uh, replace the CPUs in my Fujitsu Siemens server RX300 series 5. At the moment I have a couple of Xeons E5520 inside. It's a they are quad core CPUs, 8 threads, uh, 2.26 gigahertz each uh, they are not bad but I found for very cheap the, the best CPUs that this server can sub support and those are uh, X5570 they are uh, 2.93 gigahertz each uh, same 4 cores and uh, eight threads uh, those they have a turbo boost i think up to uh, 3.33 gigahertz not really sure about it but i think that's the uh, that's the specs for the new cpus a uh, little more about this server it's quite old but it's it's still okay it's still good it serves the purpose for the home lab it's it's quite fine. Uh, the support uh, 144 GB of uh, DDR3 RAM memory, and it holds up uh, to 12 two and a half inch SAS or SATA drives. At this moment, I have populated only two for the system uh, because the caddies for this uh, Fujitsu Siemens servers are very difficult to find and when you find them they're very expensive and anyway I don't have any more hard drives so that would be it. It has a RAID controller with a 512 megabytes of support memory uh, it supports RAID 0, 1, uh, 5 and 6 and has embedded uh, two gigabit uh, network controllers and I have one additional four port gigabit network controller so let's get started and let's replace those CPUs I'm gonna remove this cover they are very easy to remove these heat sinks because they are just holding on a clip Push them down and you take them out like this. Voila. Here's the one. CPU they are standard just open up the tray well uh, we take the old ones out and we are going to put the new ones in so you have to pay attention about the placement of the CPU you are going to notice they have this little arrow in the corner which has to match with the arrow on the slot you just need to... ok you remove any dirt if there is any on top of the pins like this and there we go. You can see arrow right here. That means this CPU should go like right here. So we're just gonna hold it a little bit so it doesn't wiggle around. 
that's it and the other one the same arrow top right and right here it's arrow on a slot Next thing, we have to clean up the heat sinks to remove any residue from the thermal compound, old one. And I'm using the cotton pads and uh, just the medical alcohol, 70%, and that should be quite fine for this. All right, they are nice and clean now. And I think that's never been done before on this server because the heat, the thermal compound was very dry. So we're just going to apply the new one. This server doesn't need a lot of it because these CPUs they are using only up to 95 watts of power and just a little bit of the thermal paste should be quite fine for those voila and we put the heat sinks back. Let's see. Airflow says like this. Just put this inside. push it back inside and out to lock these holders and the second one same thing voila that's it plastic bag let's put it back in a rack and let's test it how it's working now all right let's boot it up now and see is it working should be everything okay you know check the bios and after that we're going to do some benchmarks to see how actually how much better is it than the previous ones mm -hmm. I think this pretty much it means that it's working Yep, that's it. They're all there. Hmm. 
this seems all good. Yeah, there we go. system and check out the performance all right here we are we are up in a windows everything works just fine we can see here showing the both cpus x5 uh, 5570 we have all 16 threads so that's good let's run some benchmarks Let's go with a single core first. Hmm. I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, okay. It's going for both of it. So, we have on a single thread 256.6 and the multi thread uh, 2687.2. I don't have any reference here to choose something similar, but let's see. Let's try what the Cinebench is going to say. Alright, CPU. I choose R15 because it's pretty much all C old CPU and it would take forever if I used R20 and it's not real, I mean it's not realistic because it's made, it has a new set of instructions for the newest CPUs, <clears throat> these are not new at all, they are at least 10 years old. This doesn't go in bad so far. Let's see. There we go. So, slightly better than i7-4770K and uh, a lot better than 3770 and these are much old so we are not even going to compare them because it's a dual core and these are slower but of course it's weaker than a six core 12 threads i7 39 30k this is all right i'm happy with this it's better than the old ones so that's it You've seen it, everything went well, next one I hope I'm going to replace on uh, my HP DL380 Gen 8, I should throw in some uh, E26, I hope 90 V2, those are they are uh, 12 core, 24 threads, uh, 2.9 gigahertz, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, they are very, very good CPUs still, uh, but they are a little bit on a little more expensive uh, side than these ones. This one I paid for these two X5570. Uh, 35 bucks together for a pair so it's, it's really cheap and I think for 35 bucks I got a decent upgrade 
<coughs> so I'm happy about this. Let's see uh, when I'm going to be able, I'm going to upgrade the HP as well. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please subscribe, hit the like button. If you have any comments, I will be more than happy to hear them and to answer them. Oh, thank you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.